Many Afghans say the only thing that can't be counted in their country are the number of bullet holes. This building, the Darul Aman Palace in Kabul, was pockmarked and destroyed by bullets, like much of the country and its people. The palace was caught up in four decades of conflicts. But in 2016, renovation work began on the president's orders. Many believe that rebuilding Darul Aman Palace was beyond the capability of Afghans. Today we have proved that wrong. Look at the main part of the work, which is the structure. It's almost 100% complete, but it was a difficult and complicated job. The structure never actually served as a palace. Built after Afghanistan's independence from Britain in 1919, it represents decades of rich Afghan history. Reconstruction work is being done with Afghan laborers, engineers and architects, with Afghanistan's money. And the project was championed by the government as a matter of national pride. In a conflict affected zone like Afghanistan, it's a sign of development for people. It gives them a hope that there's a future for them, a brighter future after all these, you know, decades of war and conflicts in Afghanistan. It hasn't yet been decided how Dar al Aman will be used when it reopens. But with imposing views of the city, some may view it as a promise of a new beginning. From my childhood up to now, we have been at war. We will be happy if peace comes and our homeland will be built and we will be free and prosperous. If fighting begins, the building will be ruined again like in the 90s. But others say the government should have set different priorities. It's a good thing to rebuild Darul Aman Palace. But if this money had been spent on solving people's problems, that would have been better. President Ashraf Ghani once referred to Darul Aman as the palace of abandoned dreams. Perhaps those dreams can now be realized after it's restored to its former glory. Rahul Radhakrishnan, TRT World.